All right, welcome back to Pharmacist on Call. Your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, your community pharmacist. We're gonna get right back into your calls. We've got Tim on line two. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? No, so, Tim. Yes, sir. How can we help you, sir? Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How you doing, Dr. Pruitt? Pretty good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. I had a question, uh, and like your honest opinion on it, uh, about fentiramine. Yes, sir. Uh, I was, you know, trying, trying to lose some weight. I'm a little uh, uh, overweight, and, you know, on up in age, I just, uh, I hear it's bad for you, it's not good for you, so I just like like to know if it's, uh, if it's worth taking, don't take it at, at older age, uh, 59 years old. Uh, just would like to have your input on it. Well, let me ask you, uh, how, how is your, your blood pressure running generally? Uh, right now, it's, uh, it's, it's running fine. Uh, matter of fact, I, I did take blood pressure medicine. I had a, a high stressful job and I retired from that and I don't have to take blood pressure medicine anymore. Okay. So, uh, it's, it's prescribed like two a day. I just don't know how far apart to take them. What milligram? Uh, they're the highest milligram. What is it? Uh, 37.5? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, A, I don't recommend that. Okay. Uh, B, what I would recommend you do, if you're going to do it, is that you take it first thing in the morning and then probably engage in some sort of uh, cardiovascular exercise, uh, whether that's walking. You're going to do it on an empty stomach. Because okay. what that's going to do is force your body to burn the excess fat as a fuel. So, we store that for fuel to be burned in you know emergency situations. So you take your phenomene, you uh, do walking or gym or cardio and do that for 30 minutes to an hour. And, uh, and that's the way that I would do that. The nighttime or the second dose, you're not gonna need to do. You won't get a lick of sleep. Uh, so, and you may run the risk of pushing your blood pressure up, but I think that you're gonna get a rebound lowering of your blood pressure because of all the exercise that you're doing because of the weight that you're gonna lose on, and all the excess sodium uh, that you're gonna excrete through your skin through sweating. Now, in addition to that, we are gonna have to bump up our water intake with Congan alkaline water. So uh, theoretically, you would wanna do half your body weight in ounces. So about roughly how much do you weigh? Uh, I weigh to almost 300, 298. So 298, we're, we'll just say 150 ounces. From uh, about about a gallon and maybe a gallon and a quarter, gallon and a half a day. Great. Uh, so yeah, just spaced out throughout the day. I can do that. Yeah, yeah. So and I think that that would go a long way. Uh, but if you are concerned about the the stimulant effect, then there is an alternative called Garcinia cambogia, and the way it helps you lose weight is without the stimulant effect, but it does three different things. A, it blocks the body from absorbing fat. So when you eat something bad, it's gonna block the absorption of it and you're gonna number two it on out. Uh, number two, it is gonna shut your appetite down. And trust me, I've taken this stuff and uh, I did pretty well on it. And then third, it has a mild antidepressant effect. And so sometimes we tend to binge eat when we feel down well, this will stop you from doing that because you'll have like a mild Prozac, Zoloft kind of effect going on. And so you may not even be as hungry as you were because your mood will be so good. So Fentramine, I think is okay given that you don't have any issues with hypertension. Uh, so again, just for maximum effect, I say take the Fentramine, uh, make sure your water intake is great and you do all your exercising on an empty stomach. All right. Now, well, I that is, because now I got to get to the hard part. <laughs> the hard part is we got to change our diet. <laughs> there you go. Yes, sir. So if you are like me, you are a cheeseaholic. And so that is <laughs> my problem. So that's why, you know, it works better for me to take the Garcinia and do my cardio because, you know, if I'm eating it, it's going to block the absorption of it. So, but make sure that you're avoiding your fried foods, your carbs at night, so you don't need any kind of bread, Pasta, anything like that after 4 p.m. You follow me? Right. Yes, yeah. Sir. So, uh, uh, and then you uh, Garcinia, is that a, uh, uh, something you get over the counter or, or just have to be scribed by a doctor or? Available at Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy. And this is 95% pure Garcinia Cambogia. Comes from the uh, tamarind plant, which is like a pumpkin type fruit. Uh, 
uh, found in Southeast Asia. And what this does, you know, the um, Garcinia cambogia is the active compound found in the tamarind. So no, this is something that you can buy over the counter. You can come to Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy and right. you can get uh, Garcinia cambogia. Well, I will do it, my friend. Yes, sir. All right. And then uh, chime in with us, you know, in a show or two and let us know what your progress looks like. I, I will definitely do that, Mr. Britt. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Looks like we've got another caller here. Richard, welcome to Farm System Call. How may we help you? How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I have to take you off of what is the, the kind of area that you're working in and I, what I've heard you guys talking about. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm trying to, it's kind of crazy, I'm trying this, I've been taking Depakote for probably since 1995. Okay. Uh, I'm doing well with it. I've been off of it for a while, and the problem is, I've tried it in suspension, mm -hmm. I've tried it, it, the way it's, it comes through the VA, I'm, I'm a vet. Okay. And. It comes in suspension, it comes in an orange pill and a blue gray looking pill that's tablet, that's the smallest one. Mm -hmm. I can't eat the orange or the white ones, they just don't go down. Okay. I'm trying to find who the manufacturer for the blue one is so that I can get it. At I was told today, if I can find who the manufacturer is and if I need to talk to you or come to your location off air, that's fine. Um, I can get a formulary order where that's the stuff that I get. Otherwise, I wind up off of it. And I just don't accomplish as much as I need to. I tend to lose weight and things like that. Um, other than that, my general health is wonderful. No high blood pressure, no diabetes, uh, none of that. Um, I'm a health, pretty healthy guy, but this is the one thing that really gives me an issue trying to continue to use it, um, how it comes. And that's really the only way that I can tolerate it in terms of getting it in. Um, maybe you can help. Okay, so two questions. One, are you taking delayed release or extended release? DR or ER Depakote? I think, I think it's the ER, I'm not sure. I'm pretty certain it's the ER. Now, are you taking 250 milligrams or 500 milligrams? Um, I'm taking it 500 milligrams at a time. Um, you know, you and I both know what the maximum dosage is. I'm right up around there. Okay. That's come, again, since 1995. Okay. I tell you what, now, I, I see, I want to say that that's Orobindo, but give me a call at the store tomorrow um, because I've seen the blue manufacturer in, and what I'll do is I'll look through our, the list of our suppliers and see who sells that one that you're talking about. Uh, i tell you what, I, I'm new to Murfreesboro, and there are so many things I want to accomplish, and I find myself truly spinning my wheels in some part, um, and I know that that is the answer to, to get me some more traction. Okay. Um, and I, I would be so grateful. How will I find your location or to be able to give you a call? What, under what will I find you? Unfortunately, we're going to have to imprison you for 30 minutes, so you're going to have to watch the end of the show, and the producer is going to flash our information up there. And so she'll give you our address, our phone number, and all of that. But you got to stay tuned to the show. Well, I'll tell you what. I watched the show last night, and it's something that I'm going to have to keep my eye up for because I enjoy it. I well, really you. enjoy it, yours and the others, and the fact that um, we have opportunity to call in and ask questions and get answers and know that the information that we're getting is valid, true information, and very current as well. Absolutely, and that's why we're here. This is a service from the pharmacy to you. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. All right, welcome to Pharmacist Don't Call. How may we help you? Hello. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Oh, good. Okay, great. I didn't know it was me. All right, so I wanted to know, <laughs> have you heard of Kratom? I saw that on the doctors yesterday or two days ago. Yes, ma'am. I wanted to know more about it and what did you think about it? Uh, at this point, I think it's illegal to possess, but from what I've read, it is uh, a pretty effective in terms of uh, chronic pain relief. But I think that like the other pain medications that you also are going to have the issue uh, with dependence. 
Hello, ma'am? Yes, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah. So from from, from what I've read, yeah, Karatum, uh, a pretty good pain medic oh, pain supplement remedy. Uh, but I, from what I've read, that people were also becoming addicted to it, too. Okay. So, um, like, because with some pain medications, people become addicted to it. So, yes, um, if it's illegal, because I heard that the doctor said that it was natural, they was like, a lot of them was indecisive, some wasn't sure, some had claims that it really helped them. Yes. Uh, but as far as they take, they couldn't really um, endorse anything. So, you're pretty much the same way, um, not endorsing it because it has not become legal. Oh, I can endorse it just because it's illegal. I mean, I endorse marijuana for pain relief. It's illegal, but I endorse it for pain relief and a number of other different health conditions. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> like a doctor can like prescribe it for you, no, so that you would know your limitations, like you would with any other medication. Because it is illegal to possess. Too much can definitely damage any, you know, your body. Period. So, uh, what I'm asking is, is that like, is that something that you that you provide? No, it is illegal to possess in the United States. Oh, it's illegal. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it. Yes, ma'am. Now, you can look at uh, Corydalis. That may be another option for you. C-O-R-Y-D-A-L-I-S, if you're still on. Hello? I'm here. Okay, Hi. yeah. Check out Corydalis. C-O-R-Y-D-A-L-I-S, and, and just kind of look at it and see if it may may suit you better. Okay, sounds good. Now, tell your ladies to smile. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, they need to smile. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. All right, thank you. All right. Pharmacist don't call. How may we help you? Hello, June. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Good evening. Hey, how are you? I'm oh, doing pretty good, thanks. I just had a question here. Anybody that's been diagnosed with stage four kidney disease or failure or whatever they want to call call it, is it anything that would, would help? Well, yes, ma'am. I, I would recommend the water. In fact, I had a lady come in Monday and she said since she's been drinking the water, which I think has maybe been a month, that her renal function has improved from 20% to 30%. Now, to me, that's a big jump in such a short amount of time. And we have to remember that the kidney's job, you know, in addition to filtering out all the other bad stuff that we eat and drink, is to maintain acid-based balance in the body. So when you put in alkaline water, that is less work that the kidney has to do and it allows it to heal itself. Okay. So I would recommend our water and I would also recommend my good buddy beetroot juice here too. Uh, he's also pretty good for kidney disease as well. All right, well I, I'd definitely be coming uh, by to see you. I take something called your Lord. You're familiar with that? I do, yes ma'am. Oh, yeah. Yes, that did help some, but not, you know, not enough. <laughs> well, the water can get rid of that gout for you, usually right, within then. a day or so. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and thank you, and you, you all are doing a great job and so much great information. All right, thank you, ma'am. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, everyone, stay right there. We're up on another break. We'll be right back. we got to get to these calls. Thank you.